Talking about no delays. Look at this. Look at this. Wouldn't you have guessed this? Wouldn't you have guessed this to be the case? Look at this. Courtesy of the BBC. Adidas says it plans to sell remaining Yeezy sneakers. So after all of that virtue signaling, after all of that clutching of pearls, after all of that crying, after all of that complaining, you know, about Ye being an anti-Semite and going his anti-Semite flipping world tour, after Ye saying he's in love with Adolf Hitler, about him questioning the Holocaust, all of this stuff that he said, Adidas, you know, getting their fucking knickers in a bunch and cancelling his deal to the point where they kind of scrubbed loads of value off a of fucking Adidas stock to the point where they took Ye from being a billionaire all the way down to being almost only a multi-millionaire. They're now saying they actually plan to sell that stock. That stock that they said they were going to fucking burn. They said they were going to burn the stock because Ye said he loved Hitler. Because Ye said, you know, um, Jewish people are to blame for all of his financial woes, right? He was kind of, you know, out here fucking spewing um, anti-Semitic flipping ideas and remarks and shit. And Adidas were sort of acting as if like that stuff was horrible. You can't say this. We're going to end our partnership with you. And look what's happened. Look what's happened. They've now turned around and said, we plan to sell it. It's too valuable to burn. Duh. I said at the time, I said at the time, the best, the best thing they should have done was giving the guy a timeout. I think, unfortunately or fortunately, when you get in business with Ye, you have to accept the good with the bad. I don't think you're allowed to sign someone like Ye and then say, hey, you can't be Ye. You have to accept Ye, aka Kanye, is always going to be him. So you have to accept the good with the bad. You're going to get some Wave Runners. You're going to get some 350s. You're going to get some Yeezy Boots, right? You're going to get some cool shows, but you're also going to get him questioning, you know, the number of Jews that died in the fucking concentration camps. You're also going to get him professing his love for Adolf Hitler. That's what you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. You have to accept this rough and smooth. If you want to, you know, allow yourself to buy another holiday home in the Seychelles, if you want to put your kid through private school in Austria, if you want to, you know, support your second family in the Philippines, you have to be willing to put up with the dicey part of, of Ye. And unfortunately, the dicey part of Ye is as dicey, is at the same level of diciness as the same level of awesome as his clothes are. That's the issue with Ye, I think. There's no, like, disparity. Ye creates at such a high level, but his controversy is also at such a high level. It's almost impossible to, like, not react to it. It's almost impossible, right? Because at the same time he's designing amazing shoes, he's also in boardroom meetings playing fucking full porn to a, you know, a fucking boardroom investor guy at a meeting one time on his iPhone. So clearly those things are kind of go hand in hand with yay, but you have to accept it and you have to go with it if you sign someone like him, in my personal opinion. But hey, what do I know? Let's continue reading the article. Adidas plans to sell the remaining stock of Yeezy sneakers from its different partnership, from its defunct partnership with Kanye West for at least a retail price, for, for at least for at least the price it cost them to make it. Sorry, the firm cut ties with rapper and fashion designer, who's also known as Ye, in 2022 after he made a series of anti-Semitic comments on social media. But demand for Yeezy sneakers has not faded. That's the major part of it. Business is business. The demand for Yeezy sneakers has not faded as they remain hugely popular in the resale market. And for something to be popular in the resale market, how is it popular? It has to be popular again in the retail market. So clearly, people still love Ye. They still love the products he puts out. They don't care he's anti-Semitic. They, no, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They really don't give a fuck. They love the shoes. They can separate the art from the artist like most grown-ups can do. Most grown-ups can separate the art from the art, especially if you create a high level. I've always said, I think, like, in order to be uncancelable, you just have to be really good at what you do. I think the people who do get cancelled are pretty shit at what they do, and maybe people just would use that as an excuse just to get, get rid of them anyway. They don't want to see them anymore. But if you're really good at what you do, you're almost uncancelable because your fans will just keep riding for you, and Ye's fans always ride for him, clearly. It comes after the currency and fluctuations on costs. The firm one billion euros one billion dollars and 50 million that's why they have not selling that that's why they're not gonna put that stock in a volcano it cost them one billion <laughs> euros 
Jesus. The German sportswear giant finances were impacted last year by the discontinuation of Yeezy business as it cut the price of the wholesalers to shrink the stockpiles of goods. Despite facing significant um, headwinds, um, Adidas posted an operating profit of 216 million euros in 2023 and said it expects to almost double the figure this year. You know what's really funny? I remember reading a statistic somewhere. I forgot where I read it. I think they said that Yeezy, when it was with Adidas, I think it accounted for like 30% or something of their sales, even though like th th that is also, again, think about it also, this is also encompassing all of Adidas, originals, um, sportswear, everything. Yeezy was accounting for 30% of the overall Adidas sales. Do you know how much that is that they're selling, bro? That means they're selling literally everything is selling. Even though they're producing a smaller amount, they're selling more of it. <laughs> like, it's fucking insane. And obviously, he only started it recently, right? Well, in the last 10 years or something. Crazy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they re sign him, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if they re sign him because I do remember that new CEO was kind of talking very glowingly about Kanye. So I wouldn't be surprised if they re signed him. Anyway, it continues. The improvement is due to a better operating business of around 100 million euros and decision not to write off the 268 million euros of Yeezy inventory. So they're currently sitting on 268 million euros of Yeezy inventory. Fuck. No wonder they don't want to sell it. I don't want to burn it. I don't, I don't blame them. The chief executive, office, executive sorry, CEO um, Bjorn Goulden said 268 million. Mr. Goulden was brought in from rival sportswear firm Puma at the start of 2023 to drive the turnaround of the Adidas after the breakup with the Yeezy brand left it with unsold sneakers worth around 1.2 billion. So they're sitting on that much stock, but it's actually worth that much. <laughs> God damn. They're sitting on 268 million, but it's actually worth in the resale market 1.2 billion. God damn it. Even though the company sold some Yeezy stock last year, net sales from the partnership were around 450 million euros, lower than 222. No, sorry, lo lower in 2022. Um, Ada said it now plans to sell its remaining Yeezy stock for at least the cost of production um, as it tries to recoup the losses of the once lucrative partnership. However, the company lost outlook um, still include the potential write-off of its remaining Yeezy items, which cost the firm 300, 300 million euros. Adidas also said it was hit by a devaluation of the Argentine peso at the end of 2023. Big up DSP. Argentina's new president, Javier Milelli, have you, Javier Melli, yeah, um, devalued the country's currency by more than 50% in December as part of the economic shock therapy and the country needed. The firm also warned that its profits will continue to be hit by devaluation this year. Adidas has been a maker of the shirts of Argentina national team for more than four decades um last week the rival firm puma also said argentina's current evaluation hit its financials as a region was its biggest and fastest growing market so yeezy is back on road we're going to be able to see more of the shoes on market i'm all for it yeezy's my goat i never really swayed or changed on him because you know again i'm i'm a grown-up i can always separate the art from the artist i proudly and very um profusely wear all my yeezy products because it is just is what it is um and yeah i can't wait to see more stuff from him i really cannot wait to see more stuff from him and i do not care what anyone has to say about that <laughs>